Have you ever thought about if it, if it is safe for you to take melatonin every night? Hi, I'm Dr. Hamilton Stubbs. I'm a board certified sleep specialist and I'm trained as a nutrition specialist. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, Dr. Hamilton Stubbs Sleep and Total Wellness Institute. So the question came up, is it safe for me to take melatonin every night? It seems to help me sleep. In general, melatonin is thought to be okay, safe, but there may be some problems with long-term uh, use of melatonin. So first, let's just make sure we all understand what melatonin is. Melatonin is a hormone that's made naturally in the body, and we can get synthetic forms of melatonin um, that we take as supplements. People take anywhere from one milligram up to 10 milligrams. Some people take more, depending on what they're taking the melatonin for. Melatonin, from a sleep perspective, is indicated for people who have problems with delayed sleep onset, jet lag, if they have a non-24 hour sleep disorder, which usually occurs in people who don't have vision, so people who are completely blind, um, and sometimes in older people who want to use it as a sleeping aid. Now some people who are younger also use melatonin the same way, just a few minutes before bedtime. Melatonin has also been found to be helpful for people who work shift, uh, like night shift, so it address shift work sleep disorder. If you take melatonin, you could have some side effects. Some of the side effects include headache, dizziness, nausea, and drowsiness. These are the ones that are acute. But the one that's most concerned to me is the new research that suggests that people who take melatonin for long terms uh, could, be, could run into some problems with memory. This is ongoing research, so it's something to keep your eyes on. And yes, there is a problem with sleep deprivation and memory loss. I like to look at why you have sleep deprivation. If you're self-medicating for uh, insomnia for more than two weeks, you need to talk with someone who has some training in sleep medicine to get at the root problem of your sleep disturbance. In addition, melatonin could interact with some of your medications. If you're taking blood thinners, or anticonvulsants for seizures. It could interfere with your contraceptive medicine and it might interfere with medications that suppress the immune system as well as medicines used for diabetes. So what should you do if you can't go to sleep and you want to use your melatonin? If you're going to use melatonin, you need to take that melatonin early in the cycle. I would suggest if you're using it as a sleep aid that you try to take it before midnight. When you take melatonin early in the morning hours, you can shift your circadian rhythm and cause what appears to be an insomnia when actually you have just thrown off your biological clock. Also, you want to make sure that you don't have any of the contraindications to taking melatonin or that it's not going to interfere with your medications. Melatonin will give you a slight urge to go to sleep. So once you take melatonin, you need to be prepared to go to sleep. You should turn off all electronic devices, have a quiet room that's slightly cool, and try to relax in a comfortable environment. Anything that's not related to sleep and intimacy, try to remove that from your bedroom. That gets your body focused on sleep the moment you come into your bedroom. If you're a person who worries a lot, well, when you start worrying at night, try to get your brain to stop. Just say stop. And then during the daytime, make yourself worry cards. Worry cards are things where you write down the things that keep you awake during the night and then how you're going to address it so that when those thoughts come to you during the night, you can say stop. I've already thought of that. And believe it or not, stop therapy does work. Meditation is also a good way to get sleep. When you learn to meditate, you may find that meditation will help you as much as prescription medications and your melatonin. 
If you want to combine those two, it might help even more. But eventually you should try to get off of your melatonin and just fall asleep naturally. If you're the type of person who's anxious and stressed and you can't sleep because you're worried about things that happen during the day or things that will happen in the morning, you might be better with getting some treatment for stress management so you can learn how to manage stress so that stress doesn't manage you. So should you take melatonin every night? I would recommend that you try to get to the root cause of why you need melatonin and then address that. Try to limit melatonin to no more than two weeks at a time. And if you want to eat melatonin, try to get it from your food. Some of the berries and oats, even nuts have melatonin and they make great bedtime snacks. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. And if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hit the notification so you'll know when I'm making my next video. I try to make them on Wednesdays.